Hello everybody, how's it going? Hope you're all doing really well. Today we are going to be talking to a book titled Gather Together in My Name by Maya Angelou. I, so one thing that I absolutely love and I'm amazed with in regarding Maya Angelou. So as I read this book, I really saw the importance of one, owning your story, as well as so owning your story and also not being ashamed of where you've come. So she is very honest and and as I read through, especially when I was reading this one, you could tell that she did not shame herself or disregard any of her experiences. And so in the book, it addresses how uh, she was a sex worker. Um, she, as a way of making me so she takes us through this journey of how she, the certain measures that she had to take in order to be able to take care of her child because she um got pregnant at a very young age and so i admire that about her and how her mistakes were, were lessons and building blocks of where she wanted to be with her life um so because of this it had really helped me feel connected to her and it shows me and hopefully other people as well just how important and powerful each of her experiences are because had she not experienced some of these things she would not have been able to have the insight that she did so she was really able to use her life experiences and help individuals be able to connect with themselves and also to be able to learn from mistakes, but also allowing growth through that process. I, to me, that is such a powerful thing. And I've never met anybody that is able to connect that deeply with other people. And so for Maya Angelou, it was important for her to be able to share her story in order to help other people progress. So last point that I would like to add is how she was really a woman who owned her story and also used it as her superpower. And I think that a lot of times in the society that we live in and also the society of her time, so basically society is, people tend to look at their mistakes as you know, with regret and with basically just being, just shaming themselves because of the things that they have experienced. Whereas with Maya Angelou, every single experience that she's had, she was able to, one, rise above it, to own it, and also to use that to teach other people. And so I really resonate with her in that regard because I think that owning, um, <laughs> I think that when a person is no longer ashamed of the things that they have done, they, one, they can grow, and two, they can also be able to create an environment where it helps other people become the best versions of themselves. And I think that I was able to find that as I was reading this book. So, as always, thank you for listening and watching. I'll see you next week with another video. And yes, let's continue to learn and grow and connect with other people.